saw blade storage. This is how I store my saw blades. I have a wooden block down there. It's nothing more than, well, this is a new one. This is my old one here, I guess. Oh, let's start with that. My old one was just a three-quarter inch piece of Baltic birch with a series of kerfs in it, depending upon the size of the blade, eighth inch or thin kerf. And uh, that just sat in the bottom of my drawer, and then I stacked my blades in there. The problem with this one is that it's half inch spacing and the kerfs, you, you can't go only about, you know, maybe uh, five eighths of an inch deep. So what I wanted to do this time was uh, I needed more room for, for a couple more blades I had, but I also needed, I wanted to have this, uh, these kerfs to be deeper. So um, let me show you my my uh, my new holder. I'll take it out and take the blades out and show you what it is and then I'll show you how I did it. But I'm... All right so there it is. Uh, half inch Baltic birch, three quarter inch Baltic birch laminated together. Uh, the size of this block is 11 by 10. Uh, 10 giving you 15 blade spaces or blade holders uh, at 5 8 of an inch spacing. So that gives you enough room to get in here. Uh, you know, it's a little bit wider than what I had before, but I can now get my fingers in here a little easier and grab a grab a blade. You know, if you got if you got fatter fingers, why well, then maybe you go uh, a little wider. So you, know, you can see that the blades come out pretty easy. And then putting the back is just like that. And they drop in. So I've got, as long as I've got my thin kerf in there, and I've got, uh, now I've got a cheat sheet here of, of all the stops I need to make on my, on my uh, settings for my fence. I'm going to work my way this way. And it makes kind of more sense to do that anyway because as I push the work, it's going to stay in between the uh, stop blocks and just keep going. This does work out pretty well. This has a hold down, me uh, holding it here as well, and then my two stop blocks. It can't go anywhere. So I'm pushing, I'm pushing down and toward the fence. Start my saw up and then bring it up three cranks of the handle. something right it worked out okay so that's how my blades will be going in this is a thin curve well that's gonna be nice that's a lot better so that's how I take care of saw blade storage in my shop thanks for watching